Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I want to talk about recording professionally, and even if it's not professional, how to record something like a digital piano onto your home computer. Now, that's the best way to get a recording is onto your computer because it, once it's on there, you can change things, you can manipulate things, you can make it better, you can edit the recording, and you can do a whole bunch of things. But for now, let's just talk about how to record stuff. There's a couple ways to do it. And the first way is with a microphone. And that is the way that you do not want to record anything. That is the worst possible way that you can record something. You go onto these YouTube channels and you hear things that were recorded with microphones. It's horrible. You've got cats and dogs and doorbells and telephones and airplanes that are being picked up by that microphone. And it all depends on the quality of the microphone, the cable, the preamps, what speakers you're using, where you place that microphone. Please do not use a microphone to record the audio portion of your performance. Now, a better way to do that is to use your computer and you need to get the signal from your digital piano to the computer. And a lot of you don't have, you know, a couple hundred dollars to spend on a Zoom H4n, which I talked about in a previous video, which is probably an ideal way to record the audio portion. But to get it onto your computer, which even if you had a Zoom H4n, you can't edit it there. I mean, you want to be able to edit things. So basically to get it on your computer, and assuming that all you have is the computer you bought and the digital keyboard that you bought and nothing else, you're gonna to have to buy something else. It's called a sequencer or a DAW. It's an acronym, D-A-W stands for Digital Audio Workstation. You wanna get that sequencing software onto your computer. You don't have to spend several hundred dollars on it. You can get something like Cakewalk Music Creator 6. You can get it for under $50 and it's going to do a great job for you. You don't have to spend several hundred dollars on Pro Tools or Sonar or Cubase or anything like that. So to get you started, you could probably find it for like $30 or something like that if you look hard enough. Okay, so that's going to be a recording software. Now, you need a way to get your digital piano or your stage piano, the line outputs. And if you have a professional stage piano or something, you're going to have line outputs. And those are going to be labeled left and right, and they're gonna be a quarter inch jack. And to get that under your computer, your computer has a built-in sound card. It may not be very good, but it's still gonna be better than a microphone. And usually that's a eighth inch mini cable so you need to get yourself a cable, which is basically, it's going to be a left and a right quarter inch plug that you're going to use on the line outputs. And the other end, this is an adapter cable. It's going to take that left and right line output and convert it over to an eighth inch stereo mini plug. And it's going to have two black bands around there. If it only has one, it's mono. But you want something with two. And that is the stereo connection. You put that into the line input or mic input of your computer. And voila, now you've got a connection between your keyboard and your computer. And you want to fire up that sequencer or DAW software and start recording with that. That is the easy way to, or the cheap way, to get your recording from your professional stage piano onto your computer. And we'll talk more about that with more options in a future video. But for now, that's what you want to do. Get yourself a copy of Cakewalk Music Creator 6 and you can start with that. Actually, uh, Magix, M-A-G-I-X is the company name. Get yourself something like uh, Samplitude Music Studio 2014. It's $100. In my opinion, much better than Pro Tools, much better than Sonar. And 
you know, you got these other options like Ableton, you got Pro Tools, all that stuff. This is going to do a fine job for you. So that's basically what I want to get across right now. So if, if you're interested in professionally recording your performance, you're going to start with some kind of inexpensive sequencing or DAW software. And the interface that you're going to use is your built-in sound card for now, but eventually you want what's called an audio interface between what you're using and your computer. And we'll get into that in another video. In the meantime, Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.